How's it going everybody? I'm trying some new equipment. Finally figured out how to mount my iPhone 7 to a tripod. I realized that I had to use the adapter from uh, the camera that I already had here. I had it mounted as a tripod. I haven't had much success with this Canon. Uh, looks like a Rebel T3i. Um, I haven't really gotten into the whole equipment aspects for vlogging yet, but I may um, invest in a few things like maybe like an um, external microphone, uh, maybe a fuzzy one so I can do some outdoor footage possibly because I just want to build on my skills and learn new techniques, uh, filming, editing. Um, I already have like a light editing software called Splice that I use and it works really well. It's just not as flexible as like an Adobe uh, Studio or the high-end stuff that I think my wife has that but she's busy right now. Uh, taking care of our baby so she has limited time to actually do video editing but I really like this tripod setup I have this uh, little uh, iOS little button I can hit it's a Bluetooth you pair it and I can literally just like hit the button and record and maybe eventually I'll get fancy with some um, little lapel microphones or plug my phone into some outboard gear maybe my little mixer here I've got to figure out how to do all that and I spend so much time with music that it just takes so much energy. Um, if you do st strictly do vlogging, then <clears throat> I could see investing all the time in equipment, but my passion is in music, and I spend hour upon hours upon hours in editing and mixing and recording and roughing things in and programming drums and playing bass parts and working the bass parts out that by the time I get a song out there, I've already spent probably a good, you know, anywhere from 300 to 350 to 400 dollars just to do one song because um, um, I don't do my own mixing I, I do all the recording and editing and I send it to a mix house so uh, Anthem recording they're fantastic in Texas and I've been working with an individual by the name of uh, Brian David um, I'd like to give a quick little shout out too to uh, Dan's blog for having resigning music so stoked to be able to do that it's given me a lot of exposure um, as well as the Rosa Stringworks channel channel as yeah, can't speak today. Rosa Stringworks channel for featuring my uh, great great grandfather's restore guitar. So if you can go over there, subscribe to those guys, support the people who support me, and um, it's been great. I'm just learning. I'll get better at this stuff again. And mostly my content is music, but maybe I'll change it up a little bit and do some cooking videos with my music, or do some. I want. I'd like to do a Dan's vlog tribute and maybe uh, do a review on an electric string trimmer that I have. Um, I really like it. It works very well for just little areas, residential. probably works great for most people, but if you're in the lawn care business, I use the steel equipment and the good stuff, the Echo, and all the good equipment out there. But um, it's just a combination of things where, you know, I'm, I, I'd like to kind of grow the Rosati brand a little bit more. Uh, I already have some t-shirts in, in the works and I'd like to get that store up and up and running but I need 100 subscribers to be able to get to the level where I can actually publish my store with YouTube and so I have a lot of work to do but um, I guess posting good content gets you there and learning the tricks of the trade so all right I like this thing I'm gonna like cut it right now peace this is the rise of the this is